Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, so we're going to continue doing the fundamentals for chapter, early chapter 4. Alright, let's pick it off where we left off last time. Um, okay, let's see. Alright, so again, here, determine the moment of the force about point O. Alright. Let's see, let me pick the color. Da, da, da. Okay. So for this example, right, we're given, an, again, another structure with one force applied to it, right? No, so what we've been doing previously is as soon as we see a force, we have to break it down into X and Y components, okay? So let's do the same over here. So in our earlier video, in the first video, I said if you're given your force, if you're given the angle of your force with the horizontal, we know that the, the x component or the horizontal component of that force will take that cosine 30 angle. Okay, so uh, let me draw that shorter. So then that, that tells us that this is going to be 300 cosine 30. Okay. And the y component of this force, right, will be 300 sine 30. All right. And this uh, where drawing a line of action really comes in handy. Okay. Once you're once you're used to it and everything, you, you don't have to draw a line of action. Okay. Obviously, you can just skip ahead. All right. But for those who are still kind of getting familiar with it, uh, with the the whole concept of the line of action or the distance that you need to multiply your force, right? We'll take we'll do another example here. So if we draw a line of action for this x component of the force, okay which will be, you know, be uh, going this, uh, why am I drawing, let's draw green. You know, going this direction. Okay, that's that's your line of action. Of course, it goes on and on and on and on forever. And uh, let's see, what distance must you uh, shift this line of action over to intersect point O right here, okay? Well, it's got to be this distance over here. You have to bring it down this distance. Okay. So then, how do you do that? Well, I get, here they give us uh, a length of 0.3. Okay. So we'll have to do the x and y components of this length. Okay. In order to calculate uh, this distance. Right. So we know this triangle here is made up of some distance in this direction and some distance in this direction. Okay, so we know that this height, which is also this length over here, so the height of this uh, triangle is going to be 0.3, right? And again, it's the angle with the horizontal, so we know that the opposite side over here is going to be the y side, the y component part of it will be sine, okay? Here we have a 45 degree triangle. Okay, which it, I guess you might get kind of lazy and you're like, oh, it doesn't matter. Sign 45, sign 45 for both, right? But don't get lazy because um, it means you're probably still a little unsure, okay? So this will be, since it's the, the x side and we have the angle with the horizontal, we're going to say 0.3 cosine 45. All right. Nice. So then we know that the distance that I need to multiply my x force with will be this distance, which is 0.3 sine 45. Okay. Now, if I were to draw a line of action for y, right, which will be you know along this direction, what distance do I have to multiply it in order to um, get the moment transferred to O? Well, it's going to be the distance of 0.4, okay, plus 0.3 cosine 45, okay, because it has to be, let me just draw a dotted line here, because it has to be the total distance, 
then you have to move the line of action over, which is going to be this whole thing. Okay. So then, let's see, if you were to shift that, if you were to grab that line and you shift it over, push it over to O, you have to um, multiply by this distance. So it's going to be this is 0 0.4 plus 0.3 cosine 45. Okay, so let's uh, let's calculate that. So moment about O, okay, don't worry about the signs. So it's going to be, let's do the X. Uh, it's going to be 300 cosine 30, okay, uh, cosine 30 times my distance. What's my distance? Okay, it's going to be 0.3 sine 45. All right. And now the other one, oops, no sign, no sign. It's going to be 300 sine 30. All right times what distance? Well, we just said this this blue distance, which is 0.4 plus 0 0.3 cosine 45. 0.3 cos 45. Okay, and now let's see what direction. So if I were to pull, if I were to pull 300, right? So if you if you direct your fingers from your right hand, not your left hand, if you direct your fingers from the right hand to along the direction of your X direction force, okay, and you curl it towards the origin, you're going to be spinning. So, like, you're kind of like if you're twisting your fingers towards the origin now, your fingers want to go clockwise, okay, which means... If you were to pull this in this direction, right, you're going to make this rotate clockwise, all right, which is negative torque. So there's going to be a negative, all right. Now, if you were to direct your fingers along this direction now, and you were to curl your fingers, let them fall towards O, all right, you'll be rotating counterclockwise. So it'll be positive, okay. Now, let's add those up and see what we get. Let's see. So, I'm not. So, 0.3 times sine 45. Okay. Times cosine 30 times 300. So, this is minus 55.1 plus, let's see, 0.4 plus 0.3 times cosine 45 times 300 sine 30, which is 150. Now you want 0.8. Okay, so now we're going to have a total kind of clockwise torque. So 91.8 minus 55.1. And we get 36.7. Newton meters. Okay. All right. So again, if you guys have questions, let me know in the bottom. I'll try to obviously answer them as soon as possible. Um. But yeah. So. But I promise, by the time we finish the first six, you can tackle any problem from this set. All right. All right, thanks for your attention, guys. I hope this video helps. All right, have a good one.